Billy Potter's manslaughter trial is just 20 days away now. The former Brooklyn Center police officer charged in the traffic stop shooting death of Dante Wright last April. And we now know that trial will be broadcast live with cameras in the courtroom, just like the trial of Derek Chauvin. And we're also getting a look at the questionnaires prospective jurors have filled out before jury selection even begins. Our Paul Bloom is live inside the Hennepin County Government Center tonight with more on this. Paul? Yeah, Randy, Amy, much like Derek Chauvin's trial, we understand dozens and dozens of prospective jurors receive these lengthy prospective questionnaires that they're asked to fill out before coming into court for jury selection. The hope is by having these answers, both sides can eliminate some people who are set in their ways, have strong feelings, and just couldn't serve impartially. And then the others who do show up, at least the lawyers, will have some background on. Prospective Hennepin County jurors who ultimately decide the fate of former Brooklyn Center Police Officer Kimberly Potter received these questionnaires in their mailboxes months ago. 13 pages of questions, including space here to detail everything a person knows about the case, Dante Wright, and the defendant. What did you see? What do you in particular remember about it? I think that was important. Um, just for a narrative response that way. We asked criminal defense attorney Ryan Pasiga, who isn't directly involved in the case, to analyze the questionnaire. He believes this one about how many times a prospective juror has watched the body camera footage of the deadly traffic stop encounter will be critical as the two sides attempt to find an impartial panel. That became a theme a little bit in the Floyd and Chauvin trial is how many times was that shocking video seen by somebody? Is it imprinted on their brain to the, to the extent that they can't separate what's said in testimony versus what's played on that video? Other sections touch on a person's contacts with law enforcement. Have they or someone close to them been arrested? Have they advocated for or against police reform? Pasiga tells me if he was questioning prospective jurors in the courtroom, he would pay close attention to their answers on this page, where they're asked to grade their response on topics including discrimination, how the legal system treats minorities, and whether police should ever be second-guessed. If jurors have strong feelings one way or the other about some of these tangential issues that aren't germane to guilt or innocence in this case, it may tilt a juror's ability to presume Officer Potter innocent or to hold the government to its burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And what's unclear at this hour is just how big this prospective jury pool is for Kimberly Potter's high profile trial. The court just not commenting on how many of those uh, 13, 14 page questionnaires went out. What we do know for certain though, jury selection begins here on November 30th. The hope is then to get to opening statements on December 8th. We're live at the Government Center. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.